Hello, I'm High Heel Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my first impressions video of Venom, the highly anticipated, long awaited film from Sony Pictures in which they are trying to make movies based on sub characters and villains from the Spider Man mythos. Uh, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. I liked it much better than I expected. I uh, kept my expectations medium and uh, it succeeded what I wanted it to do for a movie is much more uh, uh, fun. Now, I'm not going to say fun E like Marvel fun E. I'm saying it was fun. And that's a large part to uh, the symbiote. Uh, this is the first time we really see the symbiote interact with Brock. And it's really entertaining and really adds to the fun, not fun E. I mean, you do laugh or chuckle to the time, but you're not trying to belly laugh like in Marvel movies and what they are attention with the the Star Wars movie. No, it's fun, not fun E. And uh great action, really exciting, really tense. And I had very minor complaints, like for instance, the villain is way too stereotypical. Uh he's always dressed in black. He's this genius that's totally impatient. Like as soon as one good thing happens, he wants to move on to the next trial, the next trial, the next trial. So like in uh the first Dracula world, excuse me, <laughs> where uh they see the the raptors train or obey your commands one time and all it's like okay let's put him in command let's put him in a combat let's put him in combat like no there's a lot more to go but you know this villain he wants to just skip ahead and skip ahead and skip ahead and, and so that's i found annoying the other thing i didn't like was the female lead now there's nothing wrong with her performance there's nothing wrong with uh michelle williams uh as an actress it's that the character is way too accommodating and way too adaptive to the situation she's introduced as a lawyer a smart woman but still you know she's uh this is a situation that's extraordinary and she just sort of accepts it as it happened and it's like no you need to there needs to be a moment where you're really freaking out or, or trying to understand what's going on or something but she just sort of accept things that happen as they go on and it's like i understand we don't want to do the old damsel in distress thing you know we try to steer away from that but at the same time you can't make these women too capable. And it's, it's okay for people to freak out every once in a while or just like, like I need a moment or, you know, explain that to me again or something like that. Uh, my favorite part <coughs> has to do with the little girl. Uh, now, there's nothing particular special about this little girl as far as the uh, sequence in the movie, but personally, it reminds me of a political issue that was a very major issue uh, during the previous uh, election cycle. And I don't know if this scene with sequence was done uh, because of that uh, political uh, issue or this happenstance. But either way, I just personally enjoyed uh, what happened with this little girl in that sequence. So if you want to know what it is specifically that I liked about it, uh, you can message me directly uh, at High Heel Knight. It's not with a K or one uh, word on um, Twitter. But uh, yeah, I like the movie very much. There are two. Uh, credit scenes. There's a mid-credit scene that deals with uh, an extension of Venom and hopefully uh, you know, sequel baiting, but you know, this movie will probably be successful and actually lead to the sequel that they're baiting. And then at the very end is an uh, extra um, scene that's not of Venom, but from an upcoming project from the uh, Spider-Man mythology. <laughs> You'll probably figure out what I'm saying by Spider-Man mythology and upcoming project. It's a whole nice little uh, scene uh, at the towards the end of the credits. But uh, once again, yeah, I like the movie very much. And best of all, even though it's PG-13, Venom does what he's known for doing. There's a particular uh, thing that he's known for doing or threatening to do. And I was afraid he wasn't going to be able to do it because of the PG-13 movie thing. But he does it. <laughs> he, he does what he's known for doing. Okay, so those are my initial thoughts on Venom. I enjoyed it. I recommend it. Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Hill Knight. And remember, find inspiration everywhere.